Well, let's start this video with a killer quote. Nvidia is lying. Now, before you start picking me with a stick or a chainsaw for the crazy ones, watch this. This is an NVIDIA engineer saying that the LSS3 does not have input latency and does not use interpolation. And this is another NVIDIA engineer saying they will use, in fact, NVIDIA's reflex to mitigate the added latency of the LSS3. But let's kind of deep dive into it. Today's video sponsor is GVGMO. Where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Well, according to NVIDIA latest reveal, the LSS3 uses sequential frames that are sent to the optical flow accelerator in the RTX 4000 cards that then use the optical flow field in order to produce more FPS than the previous DLSS2. So basically using interpolation, motion and depth. So the LSS3 will use the AI power to kind of guess a certain number of frames, I do believe it's one, based on the previous and the next frame. So basically you have two frames, that's your computer that your GPU produced, and then the AI will guess one frame and put it in between those two same frames. But then you'll have to wait. Basically, you have to wait for the two frames to get, to get produced, then you have to wait for the AI to guess the next frame, and then wait again for the AI to put the frame in between your two produced frames. Basically, you have to wait way more than just using the two frames that you previously had. And this does not only create latency, but it also creates a feeling of incorrectness, let's say that, of the motion. The motion just won't feel as good, even if it is working at 120 FPS, it just won't feel like true 120 FPS because of that, because of that interpolation of that guest frame in between the real ones. Confused yet? Well, this is quite similar to what some TVs have nowadays. For example, in LG's case, it is called true motion. The TV will use software to guess frames in between the ones your display the image has, giving you the impression of higher smoothness. Although, if you look closely, there will be images, in fact, that just won't look right. And with some artifacts in between, since the frames aren't real per se, but instead, guessed. So they may be real, or they may not be real, creating or not motion artifacts. And then there's input latency, of course. When watching a movie on your TV, input latency is quite irrelevant, but when playing a game, it's the opposite. And this is something that has never happened before, at least on this level, meaning that you'll have higher frame rates, aka higher smoothness, but at the same time, you'll also have higher frame times, aka less responsiveness. This means that one of the biggest selling points of the RTX 4000 cards, apart from the ray tracing improved performance, is absolutely useless for people playing competitive games. As they'll have more FPS, but at the same time worse response times that they had with no DLSS or even with the LSS 2.0. Now to the part that I showed you in the beginning of the video, where we have one NVIDIA engineer saying, no latency, no interpolation, optical flow is the same as motion vectors between the previous frame and the current frame, but it's based on image comparison, not engine-provided motion information. It can find motion that is impossible to compute, moving shadows and reflections. While according to WCCF Tech, another NVIDIA engineer called Catanzaro, I believe, says the OFA, Optical Flow Accelerator, has existed in GPUs since Turing. However, it is significantly faster and higher quality in ADA, and we rely on it for the LSS3. RTX 2000 and 3000 customers would feel that the LSS3 is laggy, has bad image quality and doesn't boost FPS. But well, this doesn't mean that the LSS3 will actually add input latency with the RTX 4000 cards, it just means that if used with the RTX 2000 and 3000 cards, it would most likely be a total crap. 
but Catanzaro also added, NVIDIA Reflex removes significant latency from the game rendering pipeline by removing the render QE and more tightly synchronizing the CPU and GPU. The combination of NVIDIA Reflex and the LSS3 provides much faster FPS at about the same system latency. And I repeat, the same system latency. This means in fact that there is an added system latency that just kind of mitigate it with NVIDIA Reflex. The thing is you can use NVIDIA Reflex with the LSS2 or even native resolution and you'll have way lower response times than using Reflex with the LSS3, making once again the LSS3 absolutely useless for people playing competitive games as they'll have higher FPS but they'll most likely have higher response times, so slower or lower responsiveness, which is one thing that they do not want. To end this video, well, they say there's no interpolation, but in the presentation that we had yesterday, Jensen told us that the LSS3 would be able to deliver more FPS even in situations where we have CPU bottlenecks. This is kind of hard to believe, huh? Let's hear it. Because the LSS3 generates a new frame without involving the game, it benefits both GPU and CPU limited games. For CPU limited games, like physics heavy or large world games, the LSS3 allows the Ada GPU to render the game at a much higher frame rate than the CPU is able to compute the game. When I guess how they are actually able to ignore CPU bottlenecks? Well, I'll tell you. Guessed frames. Think about it. Since the GPU is guessing the frame using AI, the CPU is doing exactly the same work as before. Since the GPU can put a guessed frame in between your real ones, the frame counter will indeed have more frames without the CPU having to work more for those frames. Hence, delivering higher frame rates even in CPU bottleneck situations. Now, do we actually have more input latency with the LSS3 or not? Do we have a kind of interpolation or not? Well, let me know in the comment section what you think about it, but as for me, Nvidia is lying or at best being really misleading in terms of the LSS3. Not even talking about those results that they showed of the LSS2 versus the LSS3, but let's not even mention that because that would be for another video, I guess. And well, guys, that's all for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video if you can. If you have any doubts, leave them in the comment section. And if I, well, if I, if I, if I have spoken wrong, or if I told anything wrong in this video, just leave it in the comment section because there are some topics that I don't no dominate at 100% and I may have said something that it isn't, that isn't entirely true. But overall, for me, as I told you, NVIDIA is lying. Their own engineers have different opinions on things and have different statements on things, so things are really messy, but definitely the LSS3 uses a kind of interpolation, something close to that and it will indeed add input latency according to some engineers that they will mitigate with NVIDIA Reflex. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.